Now, as you see here, our common denominator is 12. So, this is what we would do. We will rewrite these with a common denominator of 12. Now we ask ourselves, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we will multiply our numerator and denominator by 4. 4 times 5 is 20, and 4 times 3 is 12. Next, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we multiply our numerator and denominator by 3, and that will give us 9 twelfths. 20 over 12 plus 9 over 12 is 29 over 12. Now, remember, we want to write this, we could, well, we could actually leave this as 29 over 12 feet. Now, this is the parameter. Now, we want to do the area. Now, remember, area is equal to length times width. So, the area is equal to, the length is 5, 6, and the width is 3 eighths. So now, we'll do the prime factorization. 5 is prime and 3 is prime. Prime factorization of 6 is 2 times 3, and the prime factorization of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Now, we have one set of 3's that simplify out, and our area is equal to 5 over 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So it's 5 16 square feet. And that is our area. Now we scroll down here to number 5. It says Ben's backyard is 32 and a third yards long and 18 and 3 fourth yards wide. How much fencing would be required to fence in the entire backyard? Now we know fencing typically is the outside of the yard. So that is perimeter. And most yards are in the shape of a rectangle. So we will have perimeter is equal to 2 times the length, which is 32 and a third, plus 2 times the width, which is 18 and 3 fourths. Now, we have to change these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we will have 2 times, 32 times 3 is 96 plus 1 is 97 over 3, plus 2 times, 8 times, what is actually 18 times 4 is 72, plus 3 is 75 over 4. So we have a perimeter is equal to, now 2 times 97 will give us 194 all over 3. Plus, remember this is really 2 over 1. 2 times 75 is 150 all over 4. I'm going to move this up here. So our perimeter is 194 over 3 plus 150 over 4. Now, we find these common denominators. Common denominator of 4 and 3 is 12. We found that in our previous problem. So our denominator, our new denominator we know will be 12. Now, 12 divided by 3 we know is 4. So that means that we will multiply this numerator and denominator by 4. Okay, 4 times 3 is 12, and 194 times 4, 16, let me see, 37, so that's 776 over 12 plus, now we add 12 divided by 4, which is 3. We multiply our numerator and denominator by 3. So that would be 450 over 12. So now we add them together. 776 plus 450, that would give us, let's see, 1,226 all over 12. Now, of course, we need to change this to a mixed number. So I'm going to go over here to the side. So we add 12 into 1226. 12 goes into 12 once. 12 goes into 2 zero times. And 12 goes into 26 twice. So now we will have a remainder of 2. So our final answer here would be 102. Our denominator would be 12. And our numerator here would be 2. 
Now, if you notice here, we can simplify this fraction. So let's bring over our whole number, which is 102. Our numerator will have a two, and our denominator is 12 breaks down to two times two times three. These two simplify out, and your final answer would be 102 and 1 6. And that is the final answer. Oh, and I forgot too, we have to put our units. We have to make sure we put our units. So I'm going to write this above here. So it'll be 102 and 1 6 yard. Because remember, we must write our units. Okay, now, it says a chain link fencing is sold at 15 and 15 yard rows. How many rows should be in purchase? So, we would take this 102 and 1 6 and divide it by 15. So, 102 and 1 6, that would give us 613 over 6 divided by 15 over 1. So now we will have 613 over 6 times 1 over 15. Now that equals. Now this would just be 613. 6 times 15 is 90. So now we will have to go off to the side here and take 90 into 613. 90 goes into 613 six times. So this would be 540. 3 minus 0 is 3. We know we cannot subtract 4 from 1, so we'll borrow 1 from this 6. And that will become 5, and this 1 will be 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. And we know this 5 minus 5 will be 0. So our remainder is 73. So, what we will have here, we will have 6, 73 over 90. But now remember, they're not going to let you buy 73 over 90 if of a row. So your answer here would be approximately 7 rows. Now we scroll down here to number 6. It says a stretch of highway that is 45 and one half miles long is being resurfaced. The company doing the work estimates that it can resurface one and one fourth miles in a day. How long will it take the work to be completed? So we have 45 and one half miles divided by one and one fourth mile. So we would change these mixed numbers to improper, proper fractions. So it'll be 91 over two divided by 5 over 4. So now we would take 91 over 2 times 4 over 5. Now we take the prime factorization. Now 7 can go into 91. It'll be 7 times 13 and 4 breaks down to 2 times 2. Your denominator is 2 times 5. These 2's will simplify out and 7 times 13 is 91, times 2 is 182 over 5. Now we must take 5 into 182. I'm going to write that over here. 5 goes into 18 3 times. 18 minus 15 is 3, bring down your 2. 5 goes into 32 6 times. And now we have a remainder of 2. So this will give you 36 and two-fifths. Now it says how long will it take the work to be completed? You can either leave it as 36 and two-fifths days or you could do an approximation of approximately 37 days. Because we wouldn't say 36 even though properly we should say 36 with the rounding but because it's days, we wouldn't, we wouldn't go down a day or the project wouldn't be completed. So it would be better to say approximately 37 days. But this is the answer for right now that we're going to take, which is 36 and 2 fifth days.